Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Hi. Why are you staring at me? Tell them what's wrong. She's crying. Mom's crying. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Tell them what's wrong. I'm getting tested for COVID. Why are you getting tested for COVID? Sick. How do you feel? Bad. Do you have a fever? Yeah. I don't have COVID. <laughs> you don't have COVID. How do you feel about the test? I hate it. She hasn't even tried it yet. And I know I already hate it. All right, Sam, where are you going? I'm going to the COVID test center to see if Sophie has COVID. And if she has COVID? Yeah, two week vacation for everybody. Yeah, for all of us. the farm. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. You heard it right. Sophie's going for a COVID test. Late last night, just before bed, she started to get a sore throat. And then she kept on coming into my room giving me play by play uh, updates. Like, Mom, my throat is hurt. What should I do? Yeah, that's how Molly comes down the stairs. Mom, my throat is hurting. What should I do? I'm like, you know what? It'll probably be fine. Do you want some Tylenol? No, I think I'll be okay. And then her nose starts. What is happening? Daisy. Basically, late last night, Sophie came down with cold symptoms. If you guys don't know, Sophie has asthma. She's suffered from really bad asthma in the past. She suffered from pneumonia on multiple occasions, and she just really struggles with her with chest infections and cold infections, but she's been doing really well. So uh, basically, I don't think Sophie has COVID, and the reason why is because I'm pretty sure she had it last March. She was sick last January, really sick, and she was sick last March, really sick. Just before the world got shut down, she was sick. So I, I'm, I feel confident one of those times that she probably did have COVID, so I think she just caught a cold, and a cold always affects her more than normal people. It always affects Sam, too. When I get a cold, I just get out there and keep Keep on working. I yeah. never get cold. I never get cold, so neither does Gabby ever get cold. You know Anymore. what's been happening lately? What? I've always been stealing my roots pants. Yeah, I've been accidentally stealing her roots pants. They've been ending up in my drawer instead of hers. But you're just you're deflecting. But but Sam and Gabby, Sam and Sophie have some other kind of, I don't know what they have going on with them, but when they get a cold, they can't walk, they can't talk, they lay and they get fevers and they have to lay on a couch and they have to sleep for days. Like Sam, when he gets sick, oh man, you guys know what men are like. Well, Sophie is the same. And we've been re yeah, and we've been reading a lot about how COVID loves the type blood, the blood type A. What blood type do you have, Sophie? A plus. A positive, A plus, that's the right way to say it. So he's an A plus person. So uh, yeah, she's going to get tested so that we're not locked down. Gabby's an A negative. All right, get your stuff on. This is why I have fidget toys. Yep, take your fidget toys, get I'm going. I'm eating already. We made an appointment. They're already told to go to the Look test guys, center. I'm the only smart one. Right. Yeah, so if he, Gabby's like, you will not infect me. I am not giving up my horses. That's our I'm big fear. Our big talk. fear is Please the whole help. horse situation. We don't want to just leave them for 10 days. All right, go, go. Well, you gotta get it done, so. We are here, guys. We're at the COVID test center. Follow the arrows, drive slow. We're at the COVID test center in Belleville and uh, yeah, that's the closest one. We'll see if they have the uh, mouth swab one first. I mean, they stick it down your throat. No, they stick one up your nose or they, they just do your cheek. All right, here we go. And we're going in the big circle here. So we're not the only ones doing this nasty thing here. Interesting. Oh my God, there's a ton of cars. There's a ton of cars. There's a ton of cars there. There's a big lineup to get a test and you gotta go in this, you gotta go in this plastic bubble here with your car and get your test done. Gonna be interesting anyways. One lane, go even slower, it says on the <laughs> door. Luckily you don't have to pay for it because of uh, our healthcare system. We don't have to pay for it, but uh, a uh, COVID test is around $150 a person usually. There's a lot of cars. Anyways, we have to go into that big building and there's like one, two, three, four, five, 
two, four, six, seven, eight cars ahead of us. We have to go in that building and uh, and the cars are piling up behind us too, man. There's a lot of people getting tested. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, usually if your kids are uh, sick, you have to get tested before they go back to school. So, so you can't go back to school until you get tested, so is that lucky? Dad? What? I still have to do school. I know, you're, you still have to go to school. You, it sucks, eh? So what happens when you homeschool, you still have to go to school. Uh, Hi. How are you? Good. Good, are you pre-registered? Yes, okay, we did. Card. All right, is Sophia having any symptoms? Other than what we wrote on the pre-registration. Okay, and what were those? Uh, what were those again? Stuff, runny nose and sore throat. Sore the throat typical cold and, stuff? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Any exposures to COVID that you're aware of? No. Any travel outside the province? No. Perfect. Do you know how to get her results? Uh, not really. Just at the website at the Just top Just go to the here, website, okay? yeah. Yeah, okay. and results are really quick right now. You can actually start checking before you go to bed tonight. Oh, okay. If the results aren't up tonight, check back tomorrow morning, so on and so forth, okay? Okay, Alrighty. Great. Just follow the lineup. Thank All right, so thanks. Much. Follow the line. You can take your mask off because we're in the car. Yeah. Okay, you to pull up on the left side there, okay? Okay. You don't look like Michelle to me. I uh, know. No, we're <laughs> <Okay>. not that. <laughs> she get tested yet? No, we're in line. We're ready to get tested here. How many are in line ahead of you? There's a lot of cars here. Really? Yeah, there's three people ahead of us, but I think they've all just been tested, so we're like the only one not tested yet. Oh, so they're coming to you next? Yeah, we're next. Uh, and I don't think... So, what? I'm self-moving. Good. You're good, self? Yeah. Good. Alright, we're up. Yeah. Uh, Alright, good luck. I'm praying for you. Alright. Do we go in there? Yeah, I pull up right into the. Do tank. you have like a cheek a cheek swab thing? Or? A cheek one? No, they're all just nasal swabs here. Okay. So they got the nose one. So just close your eyes, keep your head like this, and let them do their thing. And okay. Okay. It's the easiest way to do it, and it's gonna like feel weird and tickle your nose, and you might want to sneeze, but someone's coming right up. We ready for this? You got it, so you got this. Finally. Uh -huh. Sophia. Right. Yeah. There's your cookie. You Thank you. Before, has no, Is she hasn't. The first time? Yep, oh, it's the first goodness. time. So, the test lasts about 10 seconds. It is a funny sensation. Uh, it might make you feel like you have to cough or sneeze, so we're going to get you to keep your mask on. You're just going to pull it down below. We're just your getting nose. done right now. Uh, it might hurt you your eye to a little bit at the end, but that's about it. Uh, some kids feel it really tickles a lot. Um, the last kid I did, he was sitting in the front seat and he sneezed so hard after it that he like sprayed snot all over the front windshield. Oh, don't do that. Cause... No, I'm going to get her to keep her mask on. <laughs> <laughs> so just pull your mask down a bit, hon. You're going to rest your head against the headrest and tip your chin up. Close your eyes, that's what I do. So I'll count to ten and it's going to be done, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's coming out, so it's going to feel funny again. You're all done, and you survived your first COVID test. Little tear, yay! It definitely stimulates that sensation for your tears to. There, there's your sucker. There you go. And you have the information on how to get yeah, it. Yeah, I do. Perfect. You're good Great. to go. Great. Thank you. Well, that was it. We're all done. That was pretty quick and easy. Was that hard? That was that terrible or what? Okay, which way do I go? Today's fun activity I planned for the girls and I is to clean the, the horse paddock. As you can see, some of, it, some of it's still frozen. Gabby's gonna rake and Sophie and I are gonna clean it up.
this that I wish we had more of a mild climate because it'd be easier to keep up on stuff. I'm excited to get that. All clean and all fresh, that paddock. I'm excited for spring. I'm excited for warm weather. I'm excited not to be sick again. Sophie's excited not to be sick. I'm excited to find out if she has COVID. What do you think you have? I don't have it. You don't have COVID? COVID? Sophie swears she's having an allergic reaction to, I'll show you guys when we get there. We did an science experiment yesterday with eggs and there's bleach in a, in a cup in the kitchen and she thinks that what's happening to her is an allergic reaction. I don't know if you guys can see, but you can tell from her eyes that she's not feeling well. And did they take your temperature? No, they just did a thing on my nose and I was supposed to yell out lady, take it out already. <laughs> Could you count it for 10? And she waited, wasted five seconds. Like, okay, I'm gonna pull it out now. Oh. Uh -huh. I was supposed to yell at her. Sophie got her COVID test, the lady came and said, you guys are gonna have to wait a little bit because the kid in the other car is being difficult. <laughs> I said, how was Sophie? And so he said Sophie was completely mature. So I actually am shocked and surprised at how good Sophie's doing. Like she looks a little sick. She's been really like low laying around, doing nothing, but she's not like on the couch dead like she has been every other year, the, any, any other time she's been sick. Okay, let's see. Same. You have not grown. Wait, have I? Let's see. <laughs> Poor Gabby. Poor Gabby does not want to grow. She just she wants to squish ponies for the rest of her life. Alright, come on over here. Let's try. She's taking out her ponytail just in case. Here's where I am. There is where you are. Nope. I know I wasn't looking. Ah, the same height. Daisy needed to get out. She wouldn't move away from the door. She was like, I'm going and there's nobody stopping me. It's muddy as heck out here, but it is gorgeous. Yesterday when I rode Penny, I only got to ride her for a few seconds, but she's because she seemed like she might be sore from her trim and she was, so I had to get off. It was amazing. Like, she was just amazing. Calm, quiet. Like, remember guys, she's only ever gone riding on that road. A handful of times, oh, they're looking at me. They're like, take me with you. And it was like a long winter between rides. We went out there and she just walked down that road past the ponies and she was calm and happy. Like, it was exciting. It was fun. I could, I, I want to see what is down at the end of that road. Like, I'm going to ride her to the end of that road one day. So anyways, we're taking uh, Daisy for a walk. I'm restless and bored waiting for Sophie's results. They said they'll be up in a few hours and literally, Sam and I have been checking and refreshing the page every hour. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. When she sticks her head in the, in the halter, you know she wants to go. Come on, I'm gonna take you for a nice soft walk in the soft grass. Let you have some some grass. You're gonna be shocked how much grass there is. Penny pickle, yeah. That's a girl. This is just a fun time for you. Lost in the shadows of a million stars. Shouldn't they invite a mind near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of. We're literally so close to being in spring and being able to do stuff again. I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you to all of you guys who have stuck through us through the winter season, the cold season, the, the season where we couldn't go out and do all the fun things that we like to do, like the shows and the 24 hour challenges and a bunch of things and the beach ride that we're gonna do this spring and just a lot of that stuff that we haven't been able to do. I just wanna thank you guys for sticking with us. It means a lot. In YouTube, people come and people go and that's just the nature of the game. And I always miss the people when they go. So for any of you guys who have stuck with us for a really long time, Sandy, you know who you are. There's a few of you guys out there that have really stuck with us and I just wanna say thank you so much for that and I appreciate it. And 
I hope I get to meet all of you guys one day. If I have to spend the entire spring just doing this, sitting out here with my girl, it'll make me happy. Hey, okay, honestly, this horse knows when it's time to go back and she drags me someplace else, or at least she tries to drag me. She's like, no, I don't want to go there. She's looking, I want to go there. We're going to the barn though. We're going to the barn, okay? Let's go see your friends. Come on, Penny Pickle. <laughs> Do you guys remember Sabrina? Well, this girl is definitely like Sabrina, but not as redheaded. Come on, come on. So I have to go behind her, pretend I'm gonna smack her, and then she'll go forward. And by smack her, I mean smack her with the lead rope, just a tiny little, come on, come on. <laughs> go in, come on, I either have to, I either have to pretend, <laughs> no, come on. Come on, Penny. I know, you wanna stay out. I either have to pretend I'm gonna hit her with the lead rope, like, you know how you reach behind you and you do that? I either have to pretend I'm gonna do that or I have to bang it on my coat so it makes a sound and then she'll come in or then she'll get moving. But it's actually phenomenal that I can actually do that with her because in the past she's been so scared of like, of stuff like that, but she believes in me and she trusts me so much now that it doesn't scare her. I hate to take her in. It's just so gorgeous outside and she wants to be out. She wants to go to the road. She tried to drag me to the road. She did not want to go. She did not want to go to the back arena though. That was one place she did not want to go. Come on, Pen. Come on. Come on. I'm actually so impressed how well she listens when I do that that I have really have high hopes for the trailer this season. She's like a little bit stubborn, but not very stubborn. She's the perfect amount of stubborn. So you guys know what I mean? It's so like when you stand here, like you're gonna walk and you reach behind and then you tap them with the, with the rope. Well, I just pretend I'm gonna tap her. So I go like this and she doesn't get worked up and she used to, like I've never done that. I've never needed to do that for, with her before. But she used to get worked up over everything and I thought I'd never be able to do that. But just doing that really works for her. She walked right in the barn with me. You're such a good girl. I love you and soon we'll be doing so, like, you guys don't understand how much I'm gonna, I plan to do with this horse. I may end up abandoning my children this summer and going off with some friends and doing friend stuff with Penny Pickle. And I'm excited to do it. I might actually, invite a friend to come and ride down the road with me because even though it's not like a big huge deal for them it would be really good for me and penny send me a letter and a bottle of wine telling me i will be fine baby i'm stuck with a halfway don't you know that Don't you know that you're